everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to start learning about fractions using some real life examples. Let's dig in. So let's introduce fractions in a fun way and make a pizza to help us learn. Okay, so now let's take a look at this pizza, this delicious pizza that I made, to start understanding fractions. So fractions are really just part of a whole. So in this case, we've got a whole pizza, but it's cut into parts, so those are the fractions. So let's count. How many slices are there in this pizza? Okay, good job. There are four slices. And now to start thinking about fractions, we can start thinking about some of the different toppings that I put on it. So how many slices have pepperonis on them? Okay, you got it. There's two slices with pepperonis on them and there's four slices total. So we can make a fraction out of that. We can say that two out of four of the slices have pepperoni. How many slices have mushrooms on them? Okay, you got it, one. So we can say one out of four have mushrooms. And we can write it like this as a fraction. Okay, how many slices have olives? Okay, you got it, one slice out of four slices. So here's our fraction. We can also call it one fourth. All right, now let's turn on that oven and pop this in there. It's gonna be delicious. Ding, ding, ding. Yummy, look at those fractions. Okay, I'm gonna put a little Parmesan on top. Delicious. I think I'm going to eat the two fourths that have pepperonis on them. Yum. All right, now here's my newest creation. And I wanna see if you can tell what fraction of the slices have green bell peppers on them. What do you think? What is that top number or numerator? What is that bottom number or denominator? Okay, you know there's three slices that have green bell peppers, so that's my numerator or top number. And the bottom number is the total slices, so I know that it's three fourths or three out of four. Great job. All right, now I wanted us to take a look at fractions when it comes to different items. So we're not looking at a whole pizza this time, but we are looking at a set of items here in, in my kitchen. So I want us to think of the fraction of toppings that we have that are bell peppers. So how can we figure that out when it's not on a pizza? So let's see. We should probably start by counting the bell peppers. That's what we're looking for. So one, two, three. Okay, so three of these toppings are bell peppers out of. So maybe I should count all of them then, the total. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So three out of six are bell peppers. Okay, let's do the same thing for pepperoni. What do you think the fraction of these items that are pepperonis? Count them up and then think about the total. Okay, awesome, two out of six again. All right, how about the olives? What, what is the fraction of these items that are olives. Okay, you're getting the hang of it. One out of 
six. Great job. All right, so let's look at this cake next in my kitchen. So let's think about, first of all, what is this cake cut up into before we start? All right, you may be saying five pieces or maybe you said fifths. Either way, you're correct. And I want us to figure out if I eat one of these slices, how much of the cake is left? All right, you may be saying one, two, three, four slices out of how much were in the original, the whole cake. Okay, great, even though it's gone, you know there were five, they were fifths, so four fifths is left. Great job. Okay, now, how much of the cake did I eat? Yum. What fraction could we call that slice that I ate? Okay, awesome, one fifth. I ate one fifth, and there are four fifths left. Ding! All right, well, I hope this helped you learn about fractions, and I hope you feel more comfortable with them now. And I will see you soon on my next fraction video. Bye!